Like, okay, how about to be obedient to Holy Spirit? It's coming up. You're in every damn drive through that you don't need to be in. Your cholesterol is high. You have diabetes. You have high blood pressure. You damn near only got three toes left. All the TV services you have, streaming services, because you're in front of a TV 24-7 like a sloth instead of going after your life. In that valley, in that darkness, in those moments where you think he's not about to do it, start proclaiming and telling God thank you because he is about to do it and when he does it hear me let me be the testimony when God start pulling you through unique I'm one of one I'm number one I'm the only one don't even waste your time trying to compete with me no one else in this world can think like hey guys Brooklyn here welcome back to my channel miss Brooklyn's journey in today's video we're gonna talk about how romanticizing your life may be the very thing that you need to change your entire life for the better but before we get into all of that for those of you that are new to my channel on the account of this video what's up I'm your girl miss Brooklyn and welcome to my YouTube channel if you like the content that you see in today's video and you want more content just like this then make sure you hit the subscribe button and be sure to turn on the post notification that way you get notified every single time I drop a video on this channel on my little corner of YouTube my channel is primarily based on health and fitness lifestyle goal productivity and just elevating my life all around becoming that girl manifesting the life of my dreams becoming the woman that I know I am destined to be who I was born to be and live in purpose and we also glorify God so if you like content like this then you know what to do join bestie night nation speaking of bestie nights what's up bestie night nation welcome back for another video I love you guys let's jump right into it I think we all can agree that the term romanticize has become something trendy these days you will hear a lot of people saying romanticize your routine, romanticize your life, romanticize, romanticize, romanticize. A lot of people talk about romanticizing things to increase productivity, to increase results in your life, getting goals, manifesting, luxury, soft life, what have you. It's become very trendy and very popular these days. Well, I'm here to tell you they're absolutely right. Yeah, they're right. I will admit, when I first became aware to the concept of romanticizing your life a few years back, I can say for about four years now, it was something a little bit, for one, it was foreign to me. I didn't really quite understand it. However, I was so intrigued by the concept of romanticizing your life so that you can experience softness, so that you ex can experience luxury, just higher quality of life, higher quality of living, a lot more fun. And also what a lot of people don't talk about is gratitude. Gratitude. Who would have ever thought that romanticizing your life can teach you how to be more grateful for things in your life? So like I said, when I first came across the concept a few years back, I was intrigued. Though I didn't really understand it, I kind of became obsessed with watching women live everyday life and they did it in such a way that allowed softness into their life. And I think the height of the pandemic being on lockdown really allowed us to understand the ideology and the concept behind soft life living and romanticizing your life. Two years ago, I decided that I would start to romanticize my life. It took me two years later to decide I too want this life but I didn't quite know how to attain it I thought I had to have a whole lot of money to romanticize my life when it was quite opposite of that you actually don't have to have a lot of money to romanticize your life you can romanticize your life at every tax bracket where there is a will there is a way and almost everything you do you can romanticize your life and in this video I'm gonna give you some options hopefully it can help spark romanticizing your life for me personally romanticizing my life has increased my standards substantially increased my standards it has allowed me to have better boundaries not only with myself but also with people it has also taught me that i am worthy i'm worthy of time off i'm worthy of luxury things i'm worthy of not living just to pay bills that is what romanticizing my life has taught me and it also has opened the universal doors for more opportunity it's crazy to say but living life delusional baby live life delusionally be delusional it says it in the scripture as well i've said this in another video but i'm telling you i'm going to regurgitate it be delusional you have to be delusional pretend your life is picture perfect and you're living in a picture perfect world 
no matter no matter what you are going through you have to find the joy inside and maybe i feel a spirit of a sermon coming on in your girl when god allows lessons to happen to you so that you can learn he will allow you to get broken down but the beauty the beautiful thing about it is when god allows for you to be broken down when he builds you back up when he put his hand on you again for the second time in life creation and literally builds you back up there is nothing that could ever break you again when god start to piece you back together like, okay how about to be obedient to holy spirit is coming up praise god when you are in your season of brokenness praise him when you are in your season of darkness and you are in the valley you better start praising him for everything he's about to do call on him because scripture says when you are in that season and you call on his name, you call on him, he is a stronghold for you. He is a tower that you run into. Do you understand what I'm saying? Call on your God and call on him hard to save you because scripture always says he's right there ready, willing. He is willing. He is itching to save you. You got to call on him. And when you do in that valley, in that darkness, in those moments where you think he's not about to do it, start proclaiming and telling god thank you because he is about to do it and when he does it hear me let me be the testimony when god start pulling you through honey the mountaintop that you are about to see in your life oh my god and so in my season in my darkness in the valley through it all i'm i like i i have moments of praising god i'm breaking out in praise even when it don't look like i'm about to get out of here hear me I am praising. I am glorifying him because I know what he's about to do. And when it happens, when the lesson is learned and when it happens, the mountaintop that I'm about to be on, everybody's going to be on some. How did you get up there? And for me, my answer, God, that's it. My God, that is it. I had to take a moment and be faithful to the Holy Spirit and say that. But I'm telling you, that is the key. It is the key. You have to find joy and gratitude in everything. And romanticizing your life allows you to do it. I'm going to share some of the ways that I have learned to romanticize my life within my means and my budget. I'm going to start with the very first way because, um, and it's actually the most recent way that I've learned to romanticize my life. Number one, for me, I now have a Sabbath day. As I'm getting closer with God and becoming more spiritual, my walk with God, um, I heard a sermon about how important a sabbatical is, how important a Sabbath is, right? Having a Sabbath day, a day of rest. And something in that resonated with me because having, and I've said this in a lot of videos, like, oh, I had anxiety, had, because I no longer suffer with anxiety. Um, praise God, I no longer suffer with anxiety. Um, but I used to have very bad anxiety to the point where I would have panic attacks. To the point where I would pass out, like literally faint, hit the floor, faint. There's been numerous times I passed out from panic attacks. You know anything about anxiety? Um, it's crippling. Like part of my French, but when I tell you I beat that beat up, baby. And it really wasn't even me. It was the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. <laughs> like, whoo. But having a day of rest has become tremendously important to me. It increases, it allows me to increase my faith of God and trust God that I've done all that I've, I could do. I worked, I toiled for six days. And now I'm going to sit in faith that every seed that I've sown this week will produce fruit because I have the blessing of the most high. He is blessing my ground, my soil. So I don't have to toil seven days a week. I don't have to, There, like I deserve rest. If the creator, the most high Elohim, the source L, okay? If he can rest, so can you. And his word tells us that we shall rest, we should rest. So I've learned recently to rest and so taking having a sabbath day is so important to me because that day for me is straight i 
get to rest my mind my body my soul my spirit i get to rest the next thing is time management which i have to be honest i'm still working on still refining and still tweaking the thing about time management i'm learning that i can maximize time if i work smarter and not harder which means i wake up a little bit earlier so that i can spend time with god so that i can do the things that calms my nerves and my spirit before i go into the world to work and stuff like that right or i have to deal with people i do not allow any human contact within the first five hours of me waking up I don't allow any human contact you have to literally be in an emergency to get through to me i don't allow any calls to come through i don't allow any disruption in my spirit nothing technically the five to nine before the nine to five is me time god time like so i'm going to get up i'm going to do, read the scripture i'm going to pray i'm going to intercede i'm going to visualize i'm going to script i'm gonna go over my daily schedule i'm gonna go over my planning um i'm going to go over what i'm grateful for my gratitude whether it is in reality of this timeline right here right now or it is something that i am pulling into my timeline i'm manifesting i'm gonna spend that time writing out my gratitude in my daily planner in my daily slash journal for those of you that don't know what i'm talking about i have planners <laughs> listen if you have not gotten your hand on it 2024 edition is almost gone if you have not gotten your hands on my planners I'm going to leave the link down below. My New Year's spring sale is happening right now. This is the lowest you can get it. It is on the site right now. Go ahead and get it. Okay, it is the lowest you can get it right now. Go ahead and get your planner. We are in this. I'm in this heavy. I'm in it. This is my personal one. Not like, I'm not making it about this. But when I say gratitude, when I say scripting in it, like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I only have two more boxes of inventory. I had did a restock and that was it. This is it. No more, no more, no more, no more. This is it. This is it. If you haven't gotten it, get it down below. It is on sale. It is the lowest you can get it for right now. Continuing in time management, I do things like prep for the week. Like I said, not only do I schedule my week out, um, things that I can do to take time off and shade time off so I can have more time. So meal prepping so that I'm not cooking in the kitchen. Like that takes a lot of time. A lot of us work and when we get off work, we're tired and going to the drive through. I'm not going to reach my goals if I'm eating out all the time. So I have to be diligent and I have to meal prep. Um, doing resets dedicating specific days and tasks to allows me to shave time off so there are things that i do in my everyday life that helps me with time management that has also allowed more rest in my routine and has allowed like more downtime so that i can do things that are filling to my spirit other things that has allowed me to live a life of luxury services monthly services or subscription services or just outsourcing things if you never actually itemized your budget on a monthly level i ask i absolutely recommend you do in my planners we have monthly itemized budget sheets and it teaches you how to itemize your budget and break it down it literally allows you to nickel and dime your budget and see your budget face to face so that you can <laughs> cut expenses out and allocate it to something else this has helped me save money hundreds of dollars number one because it taught me like oh i'm wasting money like i was wasting money and number two it allowed me to outsource certain things cleaning services you can get cleaning services for as cheap as 20 dollars an hour okay they exist if you are a person that just you're overwhelmed with life you have a bunch of children you don't have time for yourself you don't even have time to unwind you're constantly clean you gotta work you come you gotta do this you gotta come home it is time to start go through your budget break it down because if you can get sixty dollars a week to pay for three hour cleaning services i kid you not you will find a lap of luxury in your life that you never thought could exist and the bliss do you hear me bliss bliss even if you can do it every other week do it do it they will come in and deep clean your home meal services you spend a lot of money eating out anyway. You're in every damn drive through that you don't need to be in. Your cholesterol is high. You have diabetes. You have high blood pressure. You damn near only got three toes left. Like, no shade, no tea. You watch my channel, then you know who I'm talking to. I'm, I'm talking to y'all. Your body is damn near shutting down, but you don't care. You're in drive through And then you're complaining, oh, I want to change this lifestyle. I want, I want to change this lifestyle. But you're not buying the foods that you need to eat. You're not meal prepping. You're not, you're not doing, well, it's too much. It's too All right, you're on Uber Eats all the time okay you're in drive-thrus all the time 
Go through your budget. I want you to itemize every single expense, every dollar and nickel and red freaking cents. Break that baby down. You're going to see you're wasting money somewhere. All the TV services you have, streaming services, because you're in front of a TV 24-7 like a sloth instead of going after your life. Some of y'all got to get the spirit of sloth off of you. You out here living like a sloth. I'm not, and I'm saying this out of love. You're not You're not living your best life because you stewing in front of a TV, computer, or a, a damn phone on social media. You're slothing. You're, you're that laziness, that procrastination. Like, come on now. Get up. Get off. Cut some of these services off. You watch too much TV. Too much of the time where you could be doing things, other things. And you're like, how did they do it? How do you? We're not in front of the TV. We're constantly reading. We're educating ourselves. We're doing... Like, do you understand? We allocate time. Time is more valuable than money these days. I don't care how much you're trying to pay me. If it's going to take away from my time with God, I don't want your money. If it's going to take away from my... My time with myself to restore, like to be into my spirit. I don't want your money. So this is what I'm saying. Start going through your budget. Start going to see, start seeing what you can cut off. These streaming services that you're paying for. Food, all of that. And you want to get into your healthy kick. There are food services that delivers healthy food right to your door. And they they cover every diet, dietary lifestyle. Start looking into these food services. Instead of spending all this money on Uber Eats, you can be using these food services. Moral of the story is it exists. And you can get it right shipped straight to your door. And I guarantee you it's less than what you pay on ordering out three, four, five times a week on Uber Eats or going through drive throughs and spending this money. And not only that, um, your health will turn around. Not only that, you'll be a pant size down. You'll be a dress size down. And this next one is a is a personal guilty pleasure of mine. Nothing makes me feel more luxurious than when one of these boxes come. And that is my Ipsy glam box glam bag box this box right here ipsy this product service right here has allowed me to romanticize my life in the most epic way ever because i'm a beauty girl okay i love beauty i love skincare i love this on the third this is not sponsored am i an ambassador yes do i get paid for doing these videos no i don't even have to show the product i'm just an ambassador i'm not paid to do this it's not sponsored but before I was even an ambassador, I was a consumer. I was a customer of Ipsy. I was getting the glam bag services, $14. You get deluxe sample sizes up to $17, $75 for $14. Up to $75 of beauty products or sometimes more for $14 a month. Then it came out with the um, glam box, right? And so this one, I believe, is the $30 box and you get up to $200 worth of products in the box. Okay, and now they are BoxyCharm, Ipsy and BoxyCharm merge. So you get five full-size products a month for up to $30. Now, here's the kicker. For years, I've been with Ipsy for years. I have, what, 12 drawers of skincare and about eight drawers of makeup. My stash, like my personal department store, yeah, honey, 95% of all the items I own, I got through Ipsy. I don't have to go into Sephora and buy things. Like, at the very least, I just have to buy complexion products if I want them. But I don't have to buy anything because of Ipsy. Skincare comes right to my door. Makeup comes right to my door. And I'm a beauty girl, okay? If you're not a beauty girl, you don't like to be pretty, you know? That's not on you. And I'm not saying makeup makes you pretty. I'm talking about pretty in your skin, pretty in your scent, Pretty, like, you know, pretty in your body. Like, that's what I'm talking about. You don't like to be pretty. And I'm not talking about makeup. I'm just talking about, like, just pretty, that glow. That, oh, your skin is so beautiful and tight. Oh, my gosh. Girl, where are your pores? Pretty. You know what I mean? I like to be pretty. I'm going to take care of my skin. I'm going to take care of my body. Inside and out. That, like, y'all know this. This is what we're doing. They now have hygiene products in the boxes, which I love. And so, again, this is not an ad. But I'm telling you, I've built my entire collection you even get brushes. You always get brushes. I don't I don't ever have to buy a damn makeup brush. I, in fact, I give them away. I literally, I have so much in abundance that I just give away. Like, oh my goodness. So much abundance I give away. Just to show you, like, I'm not monthly, 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 monthly. And this is the monthly. Do you see? Monthly, monthly. Brands on brands on brands. And the box is worth 200 to th about $200. Sometimes it's more. I've gotten products. And I'm talking, I've touched brands that celebrities use where one bottle of their freaking beauty product is like a hundred and something dollars to two, 200 something dollars. I freaking have triple one skin beauty products because of Ipsy and their products alone, like a small tube of something is like $75, $98. I have $250 perfume, France perfume, Parisian perfume from Ipsy. 
and for a box that's only $60 quarterly and there's a $250 perfume in the box are you freaking kidding me like I'm telling you if you want to um incorporate luxury in your life I highly do suggest and I know this could sound like an ad, but it's not. I promise you, it's really not. So I will leave the link down below if you want to sign up, join Ipsy, my ambassador link. It is an affiliate link, though. I will be honest and say it is an affiliate link. If I, if ever I can make a coin off of this, that's how. So going into the next thing, like I said, romanticize how you take care of your physical appearance. Romanticize it. Take these long, luxurious showers. You can do that at any budget. Go into Target. Go into Walmart. Go smell some skincare. Go feel it. How does it feel on your skin? Go smell it. How does, oh, you like the scent? Take it home. Get in the shower. Curate a shower routine with some of the new products that you got. You want to romanticize it. I love my shower routines. I love getting new products. I, my favorite part is after. The body butters, the lotions, the perfumes. Get you some perfumes. Scentbird. It's another subscription service. Girl, $14 a month, what is it? $14 a month, $20 a month, and you can sample bougie, expensive rest, um, expensive perfumes for like 30 days for that price. You get a 30-day sample. Please get it. Please look into it. Start finding things that you like. You a candle girl? Get some candles. Light it up in the bathroom. Set the mood. You get some light changing um light bulbs from Walmart or Amazon. Like my light bulbs change. I set off vibes in my house. I have light change I have color changing light bulbs in my bathroom, in my room. I'm about to put them in my living room. Set vibes. Get a portable speaker. Put music on. Light some candles. Put the lights on. Go get in that shower. And baby, go in there and pour love into yourself. Start putting into your parents. Do your hair. Like nails and feet. I do my nails and feet. Take care of your appearance. Even if it's a little manny. Get a little uh, a little gel nail polish for $6 off of Amazon. Get the uh, the light, cure it. Do your nails at home. Give yourself a manicure. You don't have to be in a salon. You can do it yourself. I In my Amazon storefront, I even have the mini UV light lamps. I have the big ones. Like Invest $10. Get it. Now get you a little nail polish. $6.99 on Amazon gel. Do your manicures. Get a color you like. Let it be a staple. Or get some press on. My Amazon storefront. It's linked down below. You want to take a look at what your girl uses? Go go look. Go look at my Amazon software. See what you like. See if I can point you in a direction. But do it. Do something. Make sure your hair is kept. Have hair care days. These are things that you do to romanticize your life. So now your confidence is up. Because you're looking good. You're feeling good. Your confidence is up. You're outside now. You're walking with a, 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 a little brightness on you. Hmm? People are looking at you. People are saying, oh, you got a beautiful smile. You got a glow about you. Oh, you smell so good. Honey, I step outside. I can't go nowhere without people telling me I smell good or what am I wearing? Why? I invest in my routine. My body, my body butters, my skincare, my perfumes. I invest in that stuff. And so it's, it, and it's not even for people. It's for me. I do it for me. And it just, the effects of it is people see it. They smell it. They look at it. They like, they're stopping me. When women stop me and they're like, oh, what lipstick are you wearing? Oh my gosh, girl, your makeup. Or when women, oh, I'm so sorry. I, you walked by, I smelled you. Do you mind telling me what perfume you have on? Hey, girl, I put a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Go get it, go smell it. You can get it from this. Like, I'm not the woman that's gonna keep it from you. I'm gonna tell you. And I'm saying all of that to say the effects of what I'm talking about bleeds through my real life or my outside life not just me but it inspires other people and so like I'm just radiating all of that the last thing is something that I'm gonna circle back on scripting you guys hear me talk about scripting a lot um I believe in the power of writing it down and making it um writing the vision down and making it plain I believe in the power of that back up to two I believe in that I believe in um what's the psalms verse a people with no vision will perish where there's no vision, the people will perish. I believe in that, right? I believe in prophesying over my life. I believe in speaking abundance in of, over my life. I believe in speaking and commanding the life I want to happen. I believe in scripting. I believe in writing it down as if it already occurred. I believe in journaling. One of the best ways to romanticize your life is to um, heal. <laughs> Heal. Healing from your traumas, healing from wrongdoing, healing from like just the valleys in your life is freedom. You want to see the beauty in life? Heal. You want to feel gratitude in life? Heal. Scripting allows me to set the tone. It allows me to actually see how I can 
create the avenue for my life to be on that specific road, that trajectory for it to actually happen. I cannot tell you. I mean, when the time comes for y'all to really see the fruits of everything I'm talking about and my testimony, when the time comes for me to really let y'all in on what's happening, you're going to ask, how did you do this? How did, how did you do it? And I'm going to say, watch my videos. Watch my videos because the whole time I've been teaching it in real time as I'm doing it, as I'm learning it, as it's unfolding in my life in real time. And so you can either watch and continue to live the life you're living here and be content with wherever you're at in life. If this is, the, if you die tomorrow and you can truly say you lived, then okay. But I'm talking to those of you that know, nah, this is not it. I was not born for this life. You're who I'm talking to. To the woman watching a specific, I'm gonna talk to, I'm gonna talk to women. If you knew tomorrow was your last day on this earth and you were content, you wouldn't try to do anything to change it, right? If you want to test my theory, pretend you have 24 hours to live and write down everything you would do in those 24 hours. Your list of things that you would do in those 24 hours is telling you everything that you need to be doing in your life right now. Like, you can't make this up. Because your life is so good, like, your life is so perfect. Mm? 24 hours to live, what you going to do? Mm? What goals? And you could, you have 24 hours to live and you can do anything you want. What, what are you going to do? Hmm? Then that means you have more life to live. Okay? That means you're not where you need to be. And so then that means you're not doing what you need to be doing so that you can live the life that you need to be living. The life that you were purposed to live. That's the, that's the very important part purpose to live a lot of people don't know their purpose you need to find your purpose right scripting opened up so many avenues in my life um so many dreams that i thought i could not accomplish easily accomplishing because I started scripting. And because I started scripting in my scripts, how did I do it? The answer was always in the script. So all I had to do was follow the scripts and I'm accomplishing it. In a world of I can't, in a world of I don't know how, in a world of it happens for other people and it's never gonna happen to me, scripting taught me that I was worthy, that is accessible, that it can happen for me, it will happen for me, and it already happened for me because the answer was already in the script. The solution on how to do it was already in the script. Those are my tips to romanticize your life. If you guys know any other way in your tax bracket, in your budget, that you can romanticize your life without breaking a bank, go ahead and leave it down below. Let's keep the conversation going. I am so interested to know what you do to romanticize your life and if there are things that you suggest that I should start implementing that would help me to see life more vividly and boldly please let me know down below i am in a season of open to receiving honey so go ahead and let me know down below because i am so excited to implement more ways to help me live a soft life one to help me romanticize my life two, to help me raise my standards three but that's it that's everything i have for you guys i hope this video was impactful i hope this video taught you some things i hope this video helped you recognize some things within yourself and i hope this video spoke to your spirit like i said the link to my planners are down below in the description box it is on sale at the lowest price you're gonna you can get it so grab it while you can we don't have much left don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and be sure you're back for another video and like i always say heavenly father thank you for using me as your vessel the seed has been sown i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye